Right now at 10, new surveillance video showing the moment an 18-year-old was shot in the Paxson neighborhood of Jacksonville. Police still looking for the shooter. And tonight, JSO searching for a red car that may have been involved. Family members tell us the woman is a basketball player at Reigns High School. News for Jack Schubert, Eric Aubigny tracking this neighborhood crime alert. He's joining us live from 9th Street where the shooting happened. Eric, what are the neighbors telling you? Yes, well, I spoke with two neighbors off camera who gave me surveillance video of that red car that police may be looking for, the car that uh, police believe was involved in today's shooting, a shooting that happened right here on 9th Street in broad daylight. Between 2.20 and 2.30 in the afternoon, home surveillance cameras records a suspicious red car going back and forth down 9th Street multiple times. Then shortly after 2.30, the same car is seen turning off of Detroit onto 9th Street just moments before an 18-year-old girl was shot in the leg. I spoke with a woman who was in her front yard when it happened. For her own protection, she asked that she not be identified. Just a red car. It was sitting down there. And uh, and uh, she was walking along there, and the red car dashed down the way. And after a while, I heard the, the shots, pow, 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 pow. And that was it, and it blew it away. And you saw the red car speed away after Yeah. That? You didn't see her actually get shot, though, did you? No. Witnesses who didn't want to go on camera say the victim was found right here in her next door neighbor's yard, right behind this brick mailbox. That homeowner didn't want to comment on camera, but confirmed her neighbor was left injured in her front yard. Another neighbor who heard the gunshots but didn't want to go on camera says it sounded like the shots were fired while the car was still in motion before it sped off. Shortly after 5 p.m., the girl's family returned home. Do we know if she was the intended target? But none of them were willing to make comments on camera. Now, off camera, family members tell me the girl had just turned 18. They said she's going to be okay and that she's recovering uh, from her injuries. They also say that she plays basketball for Reigns High School. Reporting live, Eric Avigny, Channel 4, The Local Station. Eric, I noticed in your report that nobody wants to be uh, seen on camera. So is it really that much of maybe fear of retaliation in that specific community? Yes, there is a lot of fear of retaliation in this community. Uh, in fact, uh, I would say that well, for one thing, you have to remember that the shooters have not been captured. Shooter or shooters have not been captured. And two, uh, there was a point in which I was talking with one neighbor off camera, and he was so nervous about being seen around a news reporter, let alone talking to a news reporter, that you could see him looking over his shoulder and just looking around to see who was watching the both of us talk, watching him communicate to me. So that is just how much fear there is in this community uh, when it comes to retaliation. Kent? Eric Robinier reporting live in Paxson.